In this part, I will explain how I edit hair movement. I use the overlap script, but even you use different secondary motion script or plugin, it will work quite the same way. So you can try this tutorial with different script. So we did on cave and let's try one more on hair. Turn on hair meshes. I will change this value as a zero. Zero. Because in zero uh, default value, it already have uh, the pose like this uh, S shape curve, which you can try with this shape. This time I would not try with the uh, base value. I will just uh, this one was base value with uh, this shape. So I will make more straight uh, the silhouette. Rotate like this, and this one's fine. I will rotate like this. This one rotate like this. So it looks like quite straight now. And top view. I will change this one a bit this way. Change this one this way. This is fine. More this way. So I just made this bit straight before I apply this script. Select this all hair and go to layer. Let's just apply this simulation tool. Uh, uh, without changing anything, I will just click this button. Just make sure you turn on bacon and layer. Let's apply this overlapper script. Done. Now it will start to add the animation uh, around here. Moves like this. I think for the hair we need a bit different value, so we'll just delete this. Uh, I will just keep this one for a compare later. So I will just give three. This was the default value. And select all hair. I have selection set. Select all hair controller. Let's try with this value again. Give us better wizard, it's more natural side view. Fine, it's nice. I want to give more side movement, left and right rotation. And this movement has already nice movement. This movement is comes from head rotation and rotate like this. So it gives uh, rotation to first controller. And we start to simulate. And we start to apply these tools. So this way looks nice. This way looks already nice, so I will not add this one, but I want to add a bit more this movement. Let's try that. I will delete, I will just keep this result to com compare later. I will just turn up the layer. Okay, in base animation layer, select this main controller, the top controller and key 18 frame so you don't you just match 0 and 18 
can we just change uh, are we, I can move left and right 18 is already a bit bright a little bit more then and 18 frame I will make move this way but I will do it in graph editor to change the first and last frame all together this let's move this way move this way okay now I will move this frame to 9 I want to just make a nice loop so 9 just half of this frame 9 18 goes this way I will copy this key oh, I press wrong button I will copy this key to I will just copy this key to first frame this value is matching with the last frame so make this as a loop as well uh, make sure you select cycle with offset cycle with offset we have loop animation like this So now let's apply this script once again and see what is the result like. Select all hair controller. I have selection set here. Select all controller. It shows a bunch of graphs, um, curves, but it's from this baked uh, layer, but it's not being used at the moment because I turned up or layer it's just uh, this is uh, what I used at the moment so it's quite stiff so let's apply the script now if you see the wizard it has really nice left and right movement when you see this animation in front, you still can see uh, a bit of hair motion, which is really nice. Yeah, it has really nice left and right move. Let's compare what we did. So first, first uh, try like this. Uh, the value wasn't really good enough, so we change the value. So the second try has better result in side view. Like this a nice wave, but in top view there wasn't enough movement left and right. So we added uh, in base layer we added left and right movement. So the last result was what we want to. So now top view, the movement is nice and side as well. So let's uh, delete all uh, these layers which we don't need. Delete this layer. Delete this layer and move this layer down and merge this with the base layer. Okay, select the old uh, hair, hair controller, go to graph editor. As you see, there's an Euler issue problem. You can apply Euler filter, it will make smooth. So beginning here, the result is not nice. Just delete this till 17, select all this and delete, select all and move to first frame. And select all this controller. Uh, select all these keys, 19 to till end, delete all, and make this loop curve. Cycle with offset, post to infinity, cycle with offset. So we have nice loop. And if you want to like change even hard, even better. There, you can change this 
value as a linear so you can make better curve uh, between the first and last frame like here it has very awkward <laughs> curve but because but because I have all the keys every frame it doesn't really uh, big change but if you want to more uh, like if you want to polish up even more you can just uh, go through this curve and change this uh, curve as a linear okay, something like this select all linear it makes better curve so this is our wizard looks nice but the angle is not really nice what you can do you can just change the angle using layer this angle is not really nice uh, make a layer and just rotate a little bit down Yeah, much better. Okay, and move down and merge this. Okay. In this character, these two object was the main and uh, like big part of the secondary motion. But as you see, there are many object on top of this character. You can go through that as well, like ears, like earring, skirt. and sleeves on here some are like this with just one controller you can just key it you don't really need to use a script but also you can apply the script as well so it's um, it's up to you but for the, the skirt is better uh, it will not it will make much easier to use this script rather than uh, hand key and I added some chest movement as well so it bounces when it moves so I start with this some like uh, something more obvious in uh, visually so like cave and hair first and then I will go like with more movement after that I will show you what was the last wizard so after adding all secondary movement, this is how it looked like. So if you see on on if you see shoulder armor, it has uh, movement, small movement, and ear is moving. And sleeve is moving, skirt is moving. I spent a bit more time because skirt was uh, when I applied script, it, it it was clipping a lot with the legs, so I have to change the rotation using layer. So all these small details gives this character look a little bit better. Okay, this was the last part of my running cycle tutorial. Hope you learned something and if you want to see more like this tutorial, please subscribe my YouTube channel. Next time I will make more interesting tutorial, something like cool combat motions. And so please subscribe my channel and also click the likes button. Thank you.